Hi guys, welcome to this week's video. This week's video is about resetting my life and I'm just gonna get into the story about why I needed to do this and yeah, stay tuned. Should I film in this lighting? Do you think it's cool? No. So basically, I went on a two month trip to Europe. When you're on a trip like that, when you're gone from home for so long, you're not really thinking about anything. Like you're just thinking about getting through your day to day thing. Like I was mainly worried about where's my next meal coming from? How much money do I have to spend? Where are we gonna go out tonight? So literally brain empty, no thoughts about life, about anything. It's like as soon as I got back to Canada, just complete stress. My whole demeanor kind of changed about everything. Um, I think what it was is I was just avoiding a lot of things by you know, going on this trip. And when I came back, I'm like, oh shit, now I actually have to think about my life and the direction that's going in and what it is that I wanna do and how exactly I'm gonna achieve those goals. I was sitting down and realizing, okay, like summer's about to end, everything's starting up. I'm not in school. I'm not really working a job that I'm like liking. Um, I have my business, it's going okay, but it's not going as well as I wanted it to. I have a bunch of other ideas that I wanna pursue, but I haven't like actually created any sort of like tangible goals of how to get there. So I was just in a little bit of a panic and in shambles, um, just thinking about all the stuff that I had to focus on. I'm watching a lot of those like, you know, like development YouTubers, self-help YouTubers that I came across this one YouTuber, which just like kind of honestly helped me calm down. And her name is Montel B. I'm going to link her channel down below. And essentially she talks about this concept, the 12 week year. It's basically based on this book. And this guy breaks down the concept of achieving your goals that you would set for the year in 12 weeks. So it's like a hyper process. And what you do is you create a system that's going to work for you in order to achieve those goals in a short time frame. Well, Montel breaks down this uh, 12 week year and she actually provided a free Notion template, which Notion is this app that you can kind of use as like an organizational tool. There's so many different things on it. I'm actually going to show you a more in-depth um, review of it on my laptop and show you like what I've been using it for. I knew that I wanted to change what I was doing because I was kind of stuck in like a weird routine i didn't really have a routine because once again i was gone for two months and then coming home it's like so weird to get back into the swing of things um so i really wanted to sit down and figure out what it is that i want to achieve and then what routine i need to create for myself what systems i need to put in place to get to those goals and it can be scary to like just want to change around everything um and like kind of face the fact that like okay you can't just like keep like living day to day and expecting things to happen if you're not going to put in the effort to happen like there's only so much that you can do and like i know people are like yeah just manifest it all of that but like yeah manifestation works but you also have to put the work in like you have to get yourself to where you want to be so that's kind of like where i was at i was just like in this weird mindset that like worried about what's gonna happen at the end of the day like i'm not worried about my future i know all the things i want are going to happen for me like i know that the life that i want to create is is it's already created for me like that life is already mine i just have to actually take control of it and make it happen it's not that which stresses me out it's more so like the little details of getting there and that's the whole process where i'm like hey i need to create like a reset of my life because who I am right now does not fully align with who I need to be in order to achieve all of those goals that I want. And if I'm not that person yet, then obviously those things are not going to come to me. So like many times I'll just sit there and think like, okay, like why is this not happening or why is that not happening? But then I realize it's because there's certain like traits that I'm missing either in myself or there's something that I'm not adding to like my, you know, daily like life or the way that I currently think that isn't allowing me to reach the things I need to because I'm not ready and the universe knows that I'm not ready so why would it give me something when it's just not my time yet so I need to do what I can right now to then speed up that process and make it my time one of my goals was to take all of the different I career ideas that I have for myself and sort of break those down into attainable things um, and this is my notebook <laughs> very creative person and i don't know if that always shows through and i feel like my entire like life and school career i've been like dulling that creativity down because like you know with school everything kind of has to like fit into a box and ever since i got out of school and like i took this past year off um after graduating 
it is just insane the way that my mind just creates new ideas and it's always flowing with something and i would be doing such a huge disservice to myself if for the rest of my life i followed a career path that like has extreme rules set in stone um where there's like no way for me to express my creativity like, i have lots of ideas and i know they will work and honestly even if they don't work as long as one works then that's all i need okay so first i started by saying who exactly it is i want to be and for example some things i want to be creative i want to be self-reliant i want to be free of judgment i want to be at ease with myself then I went in and kind of said, who do I want around me? Well, you can see my boyfriend's name in there and you can see my one of my best friend's names. Who I want around me like when I become this person because I obviously think that like having supportive people around you is worth everything. Then here's kind of like what I want to achieve broadly. So for example, peace with myself and confidence, strong bonds with those that I love, um, stability in my life. And, and then how I'm going to achieve those things. So setting systems, making new habits and following along with that letting go of those old versions of me that maybe i wasn't so fond of because like sometimes it's just oh look at my nail it's hard to let go of that and just push myself harder like sometimes i cut myself too much slack so here i got to the building my future aspect and here's where i kind of listed my career ideas i have seven by the way but i'm only going to share this one because you guys already know about doki doki candles so currently once again i kind of like what what currently i have and then what my vision is so for example like host a candle making a master class be excuse me, be the leader for anime candles and custom candles, collab with things like Hypeland and other Toronto brands, um, have like a pop-up shopping event and just overall like stuff like that that I really want to happen, okay? So that's where I kind of started with. I took all my business ideas and I wrote down like what I truly envision for them. Now, this part, I sort of broke down how to actually reach these goals. So for Doki Doki, I know that in order to be successful, I need to build a stronger fan base. So how am I going to do that? going to post more regularly on social media, try to get some viral content. I'm going to try to target like anime influencers, spread the word from that and just overall have more interaction um, to expand the market. I'm going to make custom designs. I'm actually working on this Macedonia project, which you guys will see soon. Hopefully I'm going to drop new collections and just other stuff like that, like do collabs, reach out to different brands. So here's kind of like how I'm going to reach these goals. And obviously each of these goals can be expanded even further which is what my next step is. So for example, if one of my goals for my business is to reach a bigger like fan base and build that like strong connection, and I wanna do that through social media, I obviously need to make a weekly like routine of actually posting stuff on social media. So what I did was I sort of broke down a routine. I'm gonna put it up here. Uh, days that I'm gonna be filming, days that I'm gonna be basically planning content and then editing and uploading it. And this is something that I like have to do. Like there's no negotiable aspect about it. And eventually like it'll just become so repetitive that it comes right into my routine. Basically, this is the 12 week year career planner by Montel B. I broke down my goals. I'm not going to go through everything, but basically my one year goal, love my life and everything in it. So my 12 week goal was to figure out what path I wanted to be on. And I know that's like it's probably not as specific as it should be. So this is for a career. I made one for health and then one for a career. So for a career, for my business, I want to get daily orders and I want to prep for the second collection. So I created five different strategies. And for example, like create new designs, open custom orders, have a rigorous social media schedule. Second, find a full-time job I'll enjoy. So I, for example, updated my resume for every job, um, look into fields that are related to my education and interests. And the third one was reach a thousand subscribers on YouTube. So here, post two to three times a week, which I'm kind of doing. I'll plan videos ahead and stay true to myself. And then you can create like a daily tracker of like the tasks that you want to do. Um, here's my Duolingo, which I forgot to check off, but I have been succeeding it. I have been posting on the story too. I have not submitted any job applications this week because I'm waiting for jobs to get back to me. And then basically it comes with another section where you can break down all the weeks. So this is month one, week one, week two. So here I was able to write down a bunch of stuff and then I cross them out when I'm done. Currently right now working on this, filming the sort of resetting my life. Now here is my week three things. I'm not fully done these things yet, so I haven't crossed them out yet. And then so on and so on. Then there's a health one as well, which I kind of had some health goals. So, for example, learn to do the friend splits and increase flexibility, beat all my previous PRs, gain my weight back, um, so like go to the gym five days, eat in a caloric surplus, blah, 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 and then clear my skin. That's a big goal. 
So once again, little things that I have to do. I took my vitamins, I took my chlorophyll, and then, yeah. So I feel like this is such a good thing to use. So a new habit that I've formed this week is coming back to my room and tidying it. Um, it's already looking much better than before, but like this whole mess has got to go. This stuff has got to go. Like I want to tidy everything. I used to never do that, but this week I got into the habit of always making sure everything's good. So let's... After tidying my room, I go and I drink coffee or matcha and then I eat. And after I eat, I always take my vitamins. And this is kind of like my cue to then start my day and go back to doing whatever work I need to do. So I try to stack a bunch of my habits together and that way I actually get them done. So in that daily routine, I know that there's like five or six things that I just have to do before I can start my day. I go to the gym five days a week and I want to film a video of my actual workout routine. Um, basically, it's a daily thing for me. I just have to go. I usually put it um, whenever I have time in the day, whether that's in the morning or midday or in the evening, but it has to be done. This is the master task tracker that I use to basically take all of my weekly goals that I'm setting up here in my 12 week schedule. So for example, these are my week four goals. So I write them down and then I now have to actually incorporate those into my weekly routine. So I'm taking these things and I'm sort of breaking them down into a day to day like task. And I love this because you just kind of add a task in, you can type the name, you can add a little like emoji. Um, and then you can like set it for whatever day of the week you need to. And then when you're done, you sort of check it off. I really like making lists. I always have to make like tasks. I always have to make lists. So I take whatever is in my 12 week uh, planner for that specific week. And then I break it down into daily tasks. And yeah, I will also post this link down below. This just helps me visualize everything and actually put it in my schedule. Because it's one thing to like have your stuff written down but then it's another thing to actually like go ahead and put it into your schedule so i always do that within the past few weeks i've been making time and in incorporating yoga and flexibility work into my routine i've been taking my business more seriously and making sure i have content i went back to learning spanish on duolingo i also applied to a master's program in counseling psychology which i could actually potentially start in a couple weeks this will help me with my career goal of becoming a psychotherapist i've been consistently eating better and making sure that i'm getting enough nutrients to fuel my body with all my workouts i've been using affirmations and journaling to help me find out who i want to be and how i can become that person that concludes this video and Basically, this is what I've been doing the past couple weeks. I hope this maybe motivated you or gave you some inspiration or anything. If not, that's okay. <laughs> it was still really fun sharing this like whole life reset. And yeah, I'm just going to keep going full force in everything that I'm doing. And I expect to see lots of changes. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please comment something, subscribe, do all that. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye.